Let's have a look at question 2 of this exam in this video. So we have the demand for solar panels given by this function and we also have the supply given by the other function. In question 1 we have to compute the price elasticity of demand in the equilibrium point. So first of all let's calculate the equilibrium point and based on that we're going to calculate the elasticity. So to calculate the equilibrium point we just know that the market has to be in equilibrium meaning that we must have quantity demanded as much as we have quantity supplied. So in other words if we substitute the functions we will have 200 minus 2p is equal to 50 plus p. 50 plus p. If we take the prices on one side the numbers on the other side we will have that 200 minus 50 is equal to 150 and then the price plus two prices is equal to three prices in equilibrium and that gives us an equilibrium price of 50 in the market. Equilibrium price is equal to 50. Now because the equilibrium price is 50 and we have the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied which are equal we could substitute in either of those so let's for instance substitute it over here so we will have the quantity in equilibrium equals to 50 plus the price in equilibrium which is 50 and that's equal to 100. So we found out what's happening in equilibrium. Now how can we calculate the elasticity? Let's, let, let's rem remind ourselves what is elasticity? Elasticity in this case is going to show us the percentage change in quantity demanded relative to a 1% change in price at this specific point. So we want to know how sensitive, how reactive consumers are when the price is equal to 50 and there's 100 units in demand on the market. So let's calculate that. The, the formula for the elasticity, that's going to be the price divided by the quantity times the derivative of the quantity with respect to the price. So we want to take the derivative of the quantity demanded function and we have it already so we'll do so in a second. Now we have the price and the quantity we just need the derivative and we know that the derivative is going to be the slope of the quantity demanded function and let's just work it out here like that. Quantity demanded derivative with respect to price which is showing us the change in quantity demanded relative to a change in price is going to be equal the derivative of 200 minus 2p with respect to price. 200 derivative is 0 minus 2p derivative with respect to price is equal to minus 2. That's the that's the derivative that we are looking for and we're going to substitute into our elasticity function. So we have it over here. The price in equilibrium, we just calculated it was 50. The quantity in equilibrium is 100 and the derivative of the quantity is equal to minus 2. So the elasticity is going to be 50 divided by 100 times minus 2. Now let's work out the math here real quick. We have 50 divided by 100. That's 1 over 2. And then we also can cancel out 2 by 2. 2 and 2 goes away. So that we have 1 times minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And this is the property of a unit elastic demand. And what does this tell us? That at this specific point in the market, at this specific equilibrium point, if we still increase price by 1%, if we increase price by 1%, the quantity demanded is going to decrease also by 1%. That's what it tells us. Now, I think that was it with this question. In question 2 we have to see what happens when the price is enforced by the government but we will do so in the next video.